Good morning, everybody. We are heading out fishing this morning. We're gonna fish the Tampa bypass. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out and just be on the bank with chicken liver. Uh, it is freezing out this morning. It is like Florida freezing. It's 41 degrees, um, but we're excited. Zeke and I, we're heading out there now. We'll catch you guys in a little bit. Here we go. Zeke, what are we doing today? So today we're walking down to the bypass, see if we can catch some striper and it's very cold out here. <laughs> Zeke, tell us about a time that you cooked striper. Hey, 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 hey. Zeke, we caught a big striper out here, not too long ago, probably two weeks ago, a week ago. And we took it back. Striper's a little, a little different to cook. <laughs> no, it was good. Um, we're hoping to get a bunch of fish today. We're coming out here to this point. Uh, I love it out here because it's the Tampa Executive Airport right across from us. So we get to watch airplanes take off, come in, take off, come in nonstop. Gives you something to do when there's no bite. But hopefully there'll be plenty of bites and you'll be seeing some fish here shortly. Just got one off. Oh! Sad gummit. So we've been out here about an hour and a half and as you can see, just had that striper on and it came off last minute. It's good size. That would have been a good eater for us. Not as big as the one we caught the other day, um, but still a really nice fish. Disappointed that it came off. Zeke threw rocks for about five minutes, showing how angry he was that it came off. But we're having fun still. It's freezing. It's like 10 knot winds. Um, we're out here kind of on this peninsula area. We checked the docks and it's still pretty pretty windy over there so we're gonna stay put instead of moving but the bite's picking up for sure you can see fish popping on the water right now so this is our midway we'll probably stay out here another hour and a half or catch if we start catching them we'll probably stay longer if not we'll go get some firewood and make a fire since it's gonna be cold all day so yep enjoying it though it's a great day off it's a great day with family fishing is always a good day all right zeke's on finally oh it's a catfish how big good one it's a good catfish nice cat Come here, puppy. there we go nice. little fatty Yes, sir. Come on. What are you on? I was on the phone. And <laughs> the thing almost pulled the rod out of my hand. That's a nice cat. It's a nice channel. Oh, yeah. You 
want to take it? Hmm? You want to take it? Oh, yeah. sun on him oh yeah nice kitty cat in the box it goes all right that's one for the day we're gonna keep plugging away and as we are just about to pack up and leave Zeke gets an incredible bite from a tortuga. <laughs> Literally as we're leaving, turtle alert. So we're gonna get this thing off and we're gonna head out, get some firewood, maybe get some food and see what happens to this turtle later. So give me like a 20 second explanation of how you fillet a fish. Can't do that. Why? It's impossible. <laughs> You'd have to show somebody you can't do this. Well, just explain what happens what to someone. To try to do first. Try to skin this stupid thing with your skin. <laughs> okay, yeah. So originally I tried to skin the catfish like just with a knife, but then I realized like the skin was like so pressed onto it, I couldn't, so I had to Slice the skin slightly and then grab my pliers and tear it off, which was really slimy. So, yeah. Gross. Gross. But we do get to eat the good parts, right? Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, so tell me what's happening right now. What are you doing? So, right now I'm eating the eggs and then I'm drying the fish off so that um, the breading will stick on the fish. Are you gonna fry them? Yes. What do you fry them in? In panko. In what? Panko breadcrumbs. Panko breadcrumbs. Why are you doing that spice before it's going in the eggs? So that it gets into the meat and it gives it extra flavor. So are you gonna put it in the egg and bread it like right before it goes in? Yeah, because then if you wait, it won't stick. It'll just come right off. Just put it straight in. have to check them because sometimes they look done and they're not what happened last time <laughs> that was what I was joking about earlier yep gotcha. give me like a small like a little piece of one you gonna try some fish are we gonna try some fish? Yeah. Still really hot. Oh, okay. It looks good. Please have some. <clears throat> Please. Please. You can. Yeah. Take bites. You like it? Hot. He's very sensitive yes. to heat. <laughs> very heat sensitive. More? Mm. Yeah, good job, Uncle Z. More. He likes it. It passed the Xander test. That's the pass. 
I'll take that. Yay. Oh, oh, it's so hot. <laughs> it is so very he, hot. He's like shaking. <laughs> it's still very hot. But he likes it because he keeps going back for more. Yay. <laughs> yeah, it's still really hot. Yay. All right, well, Zeke is going to finish cooking them up and then we're going to eat all of his hard work. So like this video if you liked it, comment if you want to see more of Zeke or more fishing and share because you want to. Bye.